myself sonika assistant professor department of botany arya college ludhiana today's topic is mendelian inheritance introduction many theories of inheritance have been proposed to explain transmission of hereditary traits for example blending theory of inheritance but gregor john mendel's pioneering experiments with garden peas solved it once and for all Gregor John Mendel is considered to be the father of genetics. His success can be attributed in part to his boyhood experience in grafting trees, which taught him the importance of precision and attention to the details, and his university experience in physics and natural history, which taught him to view the world as an orderly place governed by natural laws, and these laws can be stated mathematically. Mendel was an Austrian monk. He conducted his landmark studies in a small 115 by 23 foot plot in the garden of his monastery. From 1856 to 1864, he performed thousands of crosses. He kept meticulously accurate records that included quantitative analysis. His work entitled Experiments on Plant Hybrids was published in 1866, which was ignored for 34 years. probably because it was published in an obscure journal lack of understanding of chromosome transmission in 1900 mendel's work was rediscovered by three botanists working independently namely hugo de vries carl corens and eric von tessenmack mendel chose pea plants as his experimental organism to study the natural laws governing plant hybrids the garden pea was advantageous because it existed in several varieties with distinct characteristics its structure allowed for easy crosses here is a typical structure of a pea flower showing the placenta sepals female organ that is the pistil and the male organ stamens along with the petals so stamens contains the pollen grains where the male gametes are produced Mendel carried out two types of crosses self fertilization which pollen and egg are derived from the same plant cross fertilization in which pollen and egg are derived from different plants we shall be referring to figure 2.3 for cross pollination here is the parental plant 1 which is a purple flower mendel removed the stamens of the purple flower then he transferred the pollens from stamens to the white flower to the stigma of the purple flower then he cross pollinated the flower which forms the seeds and these plants plant seeds were further grown to form the f1 or the first generation of spring now we shall be discussing about different variants the total seven variants mendel had studied first is flower color that is purple and white flower position axil terminal seed color yellow green seed shape round crinkled pod shape inflated constricted pod color green yellow and finally the height that is tall and dwarf the left hand side row is considered to be the dominant va variants or traits as they can express themselves in the next generation however the right hand side row of the variants are considered to be a, as the recessive traits as they can't be expressed in the next generation Mendel crossed two variants that differ in only one trait. This is termed as monohybrid cross that is the differences in just one character between the parents. So we shall be discussing about the monohybrid cross. For each seven traits Mendel cross fertilized two different true breeding lines keeping in mind that each cross involves two parents or the two plants that differ only with regard to one trait. The illustration at the right shows one cross between a tall and a dwarf plant this is called a p or the parental cross then the parental cross produced the seeds that are the part of f1 generation then he collected many seeds the following spring he planted these seeds and allowed the plant to grow these are the plants of the f1 generation then he allowed the f1 generation plants to self fertilize this produced the seeds that were part of the f2 generation then he collected the seeds and planted them the following spring to obtain the f2 generation plants now we shall analyze these characteristics 
by the conceptual level as you can see here in the picture that the tall and the dwarf plants are represented by capital T capital T and small t small t respectively and in the F1 generation all the progeny we got were tall hybrids and after the self fertilization we get pure line tall pure line dwarf and two hybrid tall a pea plant contains two discrete hereditary factors one from each parent these two factors may be identical or different when the two factors of a single trait are different one is dominant and its effect can be seen the other is recessive and it is not expressed during the gamete formation the paired factors segregate randomly so that the half of the gametes received one factor and half of the gametes received the other so this was called as the mendel's law of segregation but first let's introduce a few terms mendelian factors are now called as genes alleles are different versions of the same gene blue eyes blue blue eyes brown eyes and green eyes an individual with two identical alleles is termed as homozygous individual for example blue gene and blue gene an individual with two different alleles is termed as heterozygous individual for example having green gene and blue gene genotype refers to the specific allelic composition of an individual and phenotypic or the phenotype refers to the outward appearance of an individual so here is the difference between the phenotype and the genotype here on the left hand side is the parental generation of the tall and the dwarf plant when cross pollinated it gave rise to the f1 generation which were all tall however they were hybrids then in the f2 generation 75% of the progeny were tall and 25% of the progeny were dwarf out of which you can see on the right side if we will see about the genotypic ratio or the genotypic uh, part then the tall were capital T capital T which was pure line tall and hybrid that is capital T and small t and the other 25% is of small t and small t that is dwarf which was a pure line dwarf punnett skears is a grid that enables one to predict the outcome of simple genetic crosses it was proposed by the english geneticist reginald punnett now we will illustrate the punnett skear approach using the cross of heterozygous tall plants as an example so write down the genotypes of both the parents for male parent capital t cap small t for the female parent it remains the same then write down the possible gametes each parent can make that is male gametes capital t or small t same goes for the female gametes now create an empty punnett skear represent the male reproductive cells on the top of the punnett skear and female reproductive cells on the left of the punnett skear fill in the punnett skear with the possible genotypes of the offspring and these were the possible genotypes we get determine the relative proportions of genotypes and phenotypes of the offsprings later so the genotypic ratio is 1 is to 2 is to 1 and phenotypic ratio is 3 is to 1 mendel also performed a dihybrid cross that is a crossing individual plants that differ in two traits for example trait 1 that is seed texture round versus wrinkled and trait trait 2 that is seed color yellow versus green so these are the two possible patterns of inheritance of these traits the first one is linked assortment and the second one is independent assortment so first we'll discuss about the linked assortment in which the parental generation is yellow round seed and the other parent is green wrinkled seeds they produce the haploid reproductive cells giving rise to the f1 generation that is the hybrid yellow and round seeds and giving the germ cells or the gametes which are enlisted here in the diagram and in the independent assortment the parents remain the same same goes for the haploid reproductive cells f1 generation also remains the same but the gametes have recombined in various forms so you can see over here that the gametes are differ or the gametes are differing in their recombinations
The experimental procedure for this dihybrid cross is shown in figure 2.8 in which Mendel cross pollinated these two true breeding plants to each other. This produced F1 generation seeds. Then he collected many seeds and recorded their phenotypes. F1 generation seeds are then planted and grown and the F1 plants are allowed to self-fertilize. This process or this uh, self-fertilization process produced seeds that are the part of F2 generation. Now we shall analyze these characteristics that were found in the F2 generation with the conceptual method. So here the uh, round and yellow seeds are crossed with wrinkled and green seeds giving rise to all round and yellow seeds however being hybrids then in the f2 generations you can see here in the diagrams a new recombinations have been formed data from dihybrid crosses round and yellow seeds crossed with wrinkled green seeds the f1 generation we got was all round yellow and the f2 generation we get 315 yellow round seeds which were parental ones or resembling to the parents then 101 wrinkled yellow seeds a new recombination 108 round green seeds again a re new recombination and 32 green and wrinkled seeds again res re resembling to the parents if the genes on the other hand are sought independently then the predicted phenotype ratio is the f2 generation would be 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1 so here's the uh, determined ratio which Mendel had formed was here listed in the green color. So the Mendel's data was very close to the segregation expectations. Thus he proposed the law of independent assortment which is during gamete formation the segregation of any pair of hereditary determinants is independent of the segregation of other pairs. So here is another pictorial representation in which the four possible male reproductive cells are being fertilized with four possible female reproductive cells giving rise to total of 16 combinations and giving rise to the phenotypes of again 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1. Punnett scares can also be used to predict the outcome of crosses involving two independently assorting genes. So here is the example explaining so the traits that have been taken in this dihybrid cross is tall plants with yellow seeds and dwarf plants with green seeds. So the ratio comes out to be again 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1. So these were all the experiments conducted by Gregor John Mendel and the results 